We are now into 15th century Italy, and a few things have changed. I mean, not massively changed, but we're seeing some evolutions in terms of art, in terms of business, in terms of commerce. Now, we are in what's known as the Quattrocento, referring to the 1400s. When we're talking about the Italian Renaissance, we talk about the Trecento, the Quattrocento, and the Cinquecento. And these are terms that are very... I mean, they're jargon, let's be honest, but they sound good. So keep them in mind. If you're doing research for a final project or anything else, you may come across these. This is what it means. Now, when we're dealing with Italy, of course, we have to deal with Florence, known for her work amongst the six soldiers of the Crimean. Sorry. We must deal with Florence, which is known for a number of elements, many of which we've dealt with and many of which we're going to deal with moving forward. Patronage. So we have powerful families that are patronizing the arts, which I'll get into in a minute with the middle class. We see elite families, and these are generally families that start out middle class. They start out really developing their own fortune, and then they become kind of an aristocracy in and of themselves. We see money passing through Florence. It is a very standard currency throughout Europe. We see a rising middle class. So all of these different elements, I want to get into a couple of them before we get into the material of the chapter. I want to give you better context of what we're talking about, specifically dealing with the guilds and the middle class. <laughs> 